Hello everyone, this is Kathy Herman and welcome to my channel. To my subscribers, it's good to see you again. And to those who haven't subscribed yet, please join the family by clicking the subscribe button down below. Okay, so today, magsusubok tayo ng mga bagong products ng L'Oreal. One of the products that we're going to try out is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear. It looks like this. At ang shade ko dito ay 140 Golden Beige. Ayan. This costs 550 pesos. I bought this at SM Cubao. I blocked during the time I bought this. So, if you want to see where I bought it, then you can check out the blog. Susubukan din natin ngayon ang Rouge Signature ng L'Oreal. Ito yung bagong lip product nila. 390 pesos ang isa. At sa SM Cubao ko din binili. I heard that this is inspired by the Giorgio Armani lip magnet. If I'm not mistaken. Pero, um... Ang Giorgio Armani kasi, YSL, Shaka Lancome, they're all under L'Oreal. So, if it's really inspired by those high-end brands, then this will be definitely a very good buy. Kasi mabibili natin to na 390 pesos lang. Okay, so susubukan na natin ngayon si L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear. Basahin natin mga claims niya. So, 24-hour fresh finish, cover imperfections, no transfer, no shine, no dry out, and no mask effect. So, let's see about that kasi ba wear test natin to today. So, susubukan ko siyang i-apply with a beauty blender and a makeup brush. So, let's see kung ano mas magandang pag-apply sa kanya. Okay, so kumuha na tayo ng product. Medyo, ano no, liquidy yung consistency niya. Ayan, nakikita niyo ba? And, um, runny siya. Ayan, no? Ano ba? <laughs> runny siya. Okay, so subukan na natin. Unahin natin, um, gamitin ang makeup brush. I'm using the expert face brush. I think from Real Techniques. Nabura na kasi yung pangalan niya eh. Matagal na to sa akin. So, dot, dot, dot. Medyo may chemical smell siya, pero hindi naman nakaka-disturb. Ano, nakaka Nako-cover niya yung, definitely nako-cover niya yung ano, redness ng face ko. Tsaka yung ibang imperfections ng mukha ko, syempre. <laughs> okay naman siya with a brush. Wala naman akong streaks na nakikita na iniiwan. So ngayon, subukan natin kung buildable yung coverage niya. Oh yes, buildable yung coverage niya. Hindi siya ano eh, hindi siya yung totally matte. Sinabi bang matte siya? Hindi sinabing matte pero ang sabi dito is no shine. Medyo dewy siya eh, di ba? Oh, nakikita natin yung ano, yung pagkadewy niya. Pero ang ganda niya, I like it. Um, natural finish lang siya. Okay, so subukan na natin sa kabila with a makeup sponge. So, kuha ulit tayo ng product. Ayan. Dot, dot, dot. Let's blend it out with the sponge. My skin hasn't been so great lately kasi malapit na naman ang that time of the month. Alam naman natin mga girls na pag malapit na ang time na yun, ay nako, our skin, well, ako ganun. My skin is not being good to me pag malapit na yung time na yun. Mas gusto ko yung finish ni ng sponge kesa sa brush. Bung Ano siya, parang mas natural tignan dito sa side na to kaysa dito. Siguro kasi na, kumbaga na, na sustain niya or pinaninipis na yung consistency ng foundation. So, i-blend ko na lang yung the rest of my face using the sponge. Okay, gamitin na natin yung what's left on my hand kasi sayang din. Maganda siya. Um, ano siya? 
Uh, light to medium coverage. Definitely not full coverage kasi nakikita ko pa yung mga veins ko. At saka yung mga freckles ko. Ito, nakikita ko pa. Gusto ko yung finish niya kasi hindi siya yung, yung mat na mat. Yung kumbaga parang nakikita mo pa rin yung, yung skin mo. Pero better. Okay, so I'll just finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll see you again later. Pag susubukan na natin si Rouge Signature, okay? Okay, so I'm back. Tapos na tayo with the rest of my makeup. So, pwede na natin subukan si Rouge Signature ng L'Oreal. Oh, by the way, if you want to know what products I used, um, please check down the description box below para malaman niyo kung ano mga produktong ginamit ko. Okay, so meron ako dito apat na shades na Rouge Signature. Ito sila. Ah, gulo. Binuksan ko na para hindi na tayo tumagal sa pagbukas. Ayan sila. So, dito niyo makikita yung mga shades sa top ng box niya. So, I got the shades I Embrace, I Explore, I Don't, and I Choose. So, I think let's start with the lightest one. Kasi... I heard na nag sustain ito sa lips. So let's go from the lightest to the darkest, okay? So simulan natin sa Hmm. I embrace. So when you open the box, the product itself looks like this. Maganda packaging niya, 'di ba? Um very hindi siya mukhang cheap. Mukha siyang mamahalin. So Try, uh, tignan natin yung wand niya. Ah, okay. Ganito yung wand niya. Tsaka nababent yung wand niya. Oh. First time kong makaka-experience ng ganito. Ganitong wand. Ngayon, iswatch natin siya sa kamay. Ayan. Ano ba? Ayan siya sa swatch. This is I Embrace. One, two, four. So, try na natin siyang i-apply sa lips. Ang lamig niya sa lips. Ang lamig. Sarap sa pakiramdam. At saka, ano siya, very magaan. Okay, so, this is I Embrace. So, tinanggal ko na yung unang shade kanina, which is si I Embrace. Hindi naman siya mahirap tanggalin. I just use the regular wet wipes. Um, very easy to remove naman. But I think it's because it's a light shade. That's why hindi siya nag-stain masyado. Okay, next shade is 1 to 1 I Choose. Oh, by the way, madaling gamitin yung wand niya kasi it's bendable. So, mas pink to kaysa yung kanina. Si I Embrace medyo, um, it's more the peachy side. Or coral side, I mean. Hindi mo kailangan mag-swipe na maraming beses kasi sa isang swipe makukuha mo na yung pigmentation niya. Okay, so this is I Choose. Okay, ang next shade na itatry natin ay si 116 I Explore. Medyo nasa brown side, brownish side ito. Hindi medyo, talagang nasa brown side ito. I love this color! Hmm? Arte? Ang ganda! No joke, ang ganda ng kulay na to. I love it! Ganda guys! Okay, so this is I Explore. Okay, so ngayon subukan natin si 113 I Don't. This is more on the... Actually, it is on the red side. Um, red siya na may pagka-orange. I don't usually go for red. Hindi talaga ako sanay um, to wear red lipstick. Pero since 
this seems to have a hint of orange, I might go for it. So, let's see. Grabe ang pigmented niya, oh. Isang swipe lang, buo yung kulay. Pero hindi makapal yung formula. Sobrang nipis ng formula. Sobrang lightweight. Halos hindi mo maramdaman. Tapos when you apply it, it is very, ano, malamig siya sa lips. Ang galing. So, this is I Don't. Bagay ba sa akin ng red, guys? Itong red na to. Ang ganda. Nakaka-fresh lang siya, no? Ang pinaka nagustuhan kong shade sa apat na shades na sinubukan natin today ay si 116 Eye Explore. Kasi talagang mahilig talaga ako sa nudes and sa browns. Um, I don't usually go for the pinks and the red ones. Pero don't get me wrong, I will still wear them, of course. Um, kasi wearable naman lahat ng colors nila. Medyo uh, very new for me itong red. Pero gusto ko yung pagka red niya. Okay, so before anything else, I want to thank my best friend RJ Kasugay. Thank you so much kasi siya ang nagregalo sa akin ng mga products na ito for my 35th birthday. Thank you, best. I love you. I miss you and I hope to see you soon. Okay, so ngayon, so far, so good ang mga products na sinubukan natin today. Gusto ko yung ano, L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour fresh wear. Tama ba yung sinabi ko? Yes, tama. Um, maganda yung finish niya sa skin. It looks natural but still covers up the imperfections. Pero light to medium coverage lang ito. Pero i wear this pa rin natin to. And I will let you know my final thoughts regarding this at the end of the day. Ngayon, si L'Oreal Rouge Signature, definitely magandang lip product ito. Ito yung talagang matatawag mo na quality na lip tint. Kasi diba yung mga ibang lip tints, when you use it, it dries out your lips. Ito, kahit na naka-apat na swatches na tayo, hindi pa rin, uh, my lips still don't feel dry. Um, definitely lightweight sa lips and yung pigmentation niya, very good. Nagiiwan din ng stain yung mga darker uh, yung mga brighter colors katulad ng I don't yung medyo reddish yung reddish orange. And let's see how it performs. At the, um, let's see how it performs. So, itong itsura niya sa natural lighting. What do you think, guys? Okay naman, 'di ba? So far, so good. Uh, nag-start ako mag-film around uh, before 3 p.m. and now it's magpa 5:30 na ng hapon. So um, nagluto ako kanina, medyo nagpawis ako. I'm still in the process of cooking. Nagluto ako ng nilagang baka. So far so good. Uminom na ako ng tubig, nandito pa yung lip tint. Lip tint uh, yung ano yun? Yung Rouge Signature. So mamaya update ko kayo. Hello guys, I'm back for my last and final update. So, nag-film tayo at around mga bago mag 3 p.m. And na, right now, it is 10.45 p.m. So, it has been mga less than 8 hours na nag-stay yung foundation sa mukha ko. So, let's see if its claims are true. Okay, 24-hour fresh finish. I believe in that kasi it has been already almost 8 hours at hindi pa ako masyadong nag-oil up as you can see. Okay pa naman fresh pa naman tignan. Um, cover imperfections, yes it does, pero not fully. Um, its coverage is around is from light to medium. Tapos, no transfer, let's see about that. Gagamit tayo ng blotting, blotting paper ngayon, tapos tignan natin kung may transfer. Actually, tignan nyo, hindi ako masyado nag-oil up for for 8 hours. Okay to ah. Ito ang nakuha ng oil. As you can see, talagang no transfer siya. Totoo yung sinasabi niya. Hindi siya nagta-transfer. So, that is two thumbs up. What else does it claim? No shine. That's true. Um, kasi for me, oily combinations uh, skin ako. So, eight hours mga beshies. Hindi ako nag-blot. Hindi ako nag retouch or something. Talagang ito lang yung oil for the whole day na nakuha ko. No dry out. Yes, it did not dry out. And no mask effect. 
So that means natural lang yung finish niya, which I agree with. Then yung susunod naman is si L'Oreal Rouge Signature. Okay, so ang ginamit kong shade ay si I Explore. Kumain ako ng nagluto kasi ako ng nilagang baka. So of course, I ate it too with my family. And alam nating lahat na medyo mamantika nilagang baka. So Oo, nag ano siya, nag fade yung yung uh, lip product. Pero nag-iwan siya ng stain, which is good. So kahit pa paano, kahit na nag fade Eh, may naiiwan pa rin stain. Hindi tayo nag-aalala na wala nang coloring lips natin. So, let's try to reapply it. Sobrang lightweight ng formula. So, I love this. I really, really love this. I love both of them. So, the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear at si L'Oreal Rouge Signature. Two thumbs up. Silang pareho sa akin. I definitely recommend them to you guys. Lalo na if you're oily skin or combination skin, okay na okay siya. Baka nagtataka kayo kung bakit iba na yung damit ko. Well, nagpalit lang ako ng damit kasi nandito lang naman sa bahay the whole day. So, nagpalit ako ng mas comfortable. So, this is it for this video. I hope nakatulong ang video na ito sa inyo. Um, if it did, please thumbs up. Leave a comment. Tell me sa comment section down below kung ano yung favorite shade niyo sa... Rouge Signature Lip Products ng L'Oreal. And please subscribe to my channel. So, this is your Mami Kat, now signing off. Bye guys!